In this part of the video, I'm going to show you how to modify images which, uh, let's say for example, uh, you download from the internet. Um, obviously this is going to be just an example only and I would suggest that uh, you seek permission before you download images. Um, I am, for example, I like the look of this car. I'm going to right click and copy image and open Solid Studio Design Edition, right click and paste. That's a fairly small image, I can enlarge that, it's not a problem. With the Design Edition of the Solid Studio, you have got a razor tool. Uh, now if you click onto that, uh, you can alter the size of this dot here. So that's quite useful. Uh, I can use this to put, let's say, a couple of uh, extra spotlights on the car. There you go. And I can also rub off bits and additional artwork I don't need. So let me just zoom in on that. And as you can see, I can delete this sort of black line to the left of the tire. Now, it could well be this razor is too big. You know, it may rub off some of the uh, uh, artwork I do need, for example, on the tire. So I can actually reduce the size of the dot to a smaller dot. Now, just by pulling your mouse down, left holding left click, I can delete unwanted bits. So it's fairly easy. Uh, when you zoom in, it gives you that bit of extra accuracy. So I'm just going to zoom back out. There you go. Okay. So the same thing again. You know, if you wanted uh, to uh, uh, trace, so we would click on open the trace panel, select trace, and do that. Click trace, and there you are. Do you remember these two spotlights we put into the car using the razor tool? Well, there you go. So that can be deleted, and this will be our cut line, and we just cover that with a uh, surround that by a square panel for easy weeding. Um, okay, so let's move on a little bit more. Another feature of the um, design edition is the ability to warp. Uh, very, very useful if you, you know, are cr looking to create uh, sort of a fancy designs on t-shirts and so on. So let's say I choose this oval shape. Now let's just type the word creative and let's select a font. Let's choose impact. Now what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to Oops, I'm going to move this into here and I'm going to warp the type face and so it follows the shape of the oval. Uh, to do that, all you do is click onto this warp tool here and then warp selected shapes and you'll see this little grid appear. Now this allows you to pull everything down where you see the nodes. So for example, the square nodes if I pull, I can pull that way, or I can pull from these little nodes here, and so on. So you can carry on stretching until you, it starts to follow the outline of the oval shape. I can do that to the top as well. And There you go. So you can obviously fine tune it as you see fit. Uh, the C is going outside the oval, so I'm just going to bring that down. And I'm going to take that inside the oval. Yeah, so I can now delete the oval. And there you have something quite fancy. So again, uh, you'd put a cut line around that. So what are this vinyl, t-shirt vinyl? Um, um, certainly it, it, it creates a great impact. 
and don't forget if you placing this onto a t-shirt, heat pressing onto a t-shirt, right click, flip horizontal and there you have a back to front design which is suitable for heat pressing onto t-shirts or if you sell for DC vinyl for applying to the inside of a window. So with a shop window, car window, uh, if he's going from the inside you cut back to front.